guys, it's Nika and welcome back to my channel. This is my makeup collection declutter part 2. Now I wasn't gonna make this part 2 video because I didn't expect the first video to be very long. Um, I cut out my brush collection and my lipstick collection clean out um, part out of the first video and some of you guys said that you want to see my brush and lipstick clean out too so that's why I'm doing the second part today and if you enjoyed my first video thank you very much for checking out my video and uh, if you haven't checked out yet I'll leave the link down below but without further ado let's get into it and the last area is my makeup brush area I didn't clean my brushes because that's just me being lazy but let's see what we can find in these brush drawers I forgot where I bought these um, drawers but I will link it down below if I can find it but it has like three different you know dividers you can put like different brushes um, I put like eyeshadow brushes here um, I use pretty much all of it so I'm not even gonna go through this one these ones from Morphe. I don't like the hair. It's um, synthetic hair. I don't like it. So These are from Morphe's too. These are highlighter brushes. I'm gonna save these. Same thing as these. These are from Sigma. And this is my favorite powder brush. Um, you can tell by how dirty they are. Uh, these are from Makeup Forever. I love this powder brush. These are from e.l.f. I love this one, so I'm gonna save it. This one is also from e.l.f., but I don't like this one. Um, I rarely use it, so they are gone. Bobbi Brown eyeliner pencil. I used to use this for like five or six years straight without changing to any other brushes for my eyeliner. These are like very easy to use. They're very pointy, and that's why I like it. Um, they're still my favorite. So I'm saving that. This is a fan brush from, no brand I guess, um, but I used to love it a lot. Um, actually, I still like it, so I'm gonna save it. Okay, so this is the Morphe concealer brush. Um, I'm gonna save it because I like it. This I just got from the Ipsy bag. This is the highlighter brush. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna save and try. These are the Morphe highlighter brush. I love this one. This is M509. If you need a highlighter brush, an affordable one, this is the one to go. In this drawer, I have this fan brush. Like it, not loving it, so I'm gonna throw it away. These little ones, I bought it from a long time ago and I don't need it anymore. This one is from Pat McGrath and I love this one, so I'm gonna save it. This one I use um, lately for powdering my um, under eye area, so I'm saving that. Uh, this, what is this? Sigma Soft Blend Concealer. And this smaller one. I used to use this one for contour and it works very well. I'll save this one for contour. This one though, I got also from e.l.f. Um, this one does not work that well, so I'm throwing that away. And this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, I'm gonna save it, because I like it. This one is from Sigma, I'm gonna save it. Because um, I bought a whole collection of Sigma's brush, I don't want to throw it away. This one is Benai Brush, I don't get the point, I don't like Benai uh, brushes, so I'm throwing that away. And this Sigma Tapered Face F25, it's a very good brush and big, and so I'm going to save it. Um, this one, of course, the classic NARS um, contour brush. It works really well for me, so I'm saving that. This Morphe M512. I remember I bought this one, but now I don't know what to use it for. It doesn't do anything to me. So this is actually a like a very affordable cheap brand I bought online. They don't even have a brand name. It, you know those very affordable ones from eBay, $10 for a whole set? Yeah, these are one of those. But I got this brush. It actually works very well and I'm saving this one. I love it. This one is from IT Cosmetics. I love this one. It's so soft. And this one is from Sonia Kesha from like, I think their holiday collection. Um, I give one set to my friend, but honestly, I don't like this brush. The hair is really tough. 
So, I don't know about this one. I think I'm gonna throw it away. And this small MAC one, the writing is gone, but I love this holiday set. Um, I saw this whole set, I think last year, at the outlets mall and I was like oh my god I love it so much I want to get another set but I was like okay I have one set already I don't know why I need another one so I didn't get it so this is one of their like um, powder brush I love it so much so in these middle compartments I have foundation brushes I have this one it cosmetics um, it has the angle if you can see all my like messy background and what I like about this one is like look it has a diamond in the bottom like that's so cute <laughs> but it works really well for me so I like it this one I use for contour I used to like not know what to do with this shape and but now I find it really good for contouring so I'm saving this and this one I use to blend my contour actually this one doesn't work that well. This one is from e.l.f. Small Staple Brush. I don't like it, so I'm gonna throw it away. This one is from the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush for foundation. I love this one because it's like it has two sides. Um, I love it. This one is from e.l.f. and it's also a, I think it's a blush or powder brush. Um, but this one doesn't work that well for me, so I'm throwing that away. This one though, Love it. It's also from that holiday collection from MAC, so I'm saving this. MAC 130 blending brush. I use it to blend out my contour too, so I'm saving this. And uh, this one is from Sigma Flat Foundation Brush. Love it. Saving it. And this compartment is my um, blush brushes. This Laura Mercier one I got from long time ago. I don't like the hair. It's rough, so I'm throwing that away. Real Techniques. I love the gold, but seriously, this brush doesn't work for me. As much as it looks cute, I'm sorry, Real Technique. You gotta leave. This one is the Sigma Brush Blush. Love it. Saving it. This is the Dual Fiber F55. And this one is from Sigma 2. It's the... Dual Fiber Powder or Blush 515. Love it. Saving it. And this is also the um, brush that I said I got from eBay for like very cheap. This is one of their brush too. It's super soft. Um, it's very good for powder so I'm saving this. I have this drawer, not drawer, this cup here for my everyday brushes that I use like very often. Um, this one actually I don't use that often but they're from Wet n Wild. When they came out with their like pink vegan um, brush collection, I'm like oh my god this is so cute so I bought this one but they don't work for me. Um, they're not that good so I'm throwing that away. This, I don't even know why it's in there but I don't, I rarely use this. This is a highlighter brush from Makeup Forever and this is 140 Wavy. Um, I love this for highlighter. This one is from the Morphe line E41. I love this for like blending out my foundation or contour. Love it. So saving it. And this is also another bl blush brush. This is from Sigma F15. I have two of these. Love it. This one is also from Morphe. I don't like the hair, but it does the job to like um, even out the foundation or blush or contour. So I'm going to save this one. And I have this smaller one to set the under eye or blush. I love this one. And finally, I love this Morphe E3. I use this to contour or do blush. Um, love this one, so I'm saving it. Um, this big IT cosmetic brush, um, it's called Jumbo Powder. Heavenly Luxe. Um, but I love this big fluffy one. But it's super big and super soft. I use this to put my powder on. So I'm saving that. And finally, this Morphe E58. I use this for my blush. Love this one, so I'm saving this one. So right here, I have my Beauty Blender. Of course, I'm not throwing that away because I love it. My NARS foundation. Look how much I used this one already. Can you see the mark right there? 
like I used halfway already. That's how much I love it. And also this one, this NARS um, Sheer Glow Foundation. I used this one mixed with my Clinic Beyond Perfecting Foundation um, to to match my skin tone. But I love these two foundations. And right here I have the brush cleaner and as a makeup artist you should have this to sanitize and clean your brush so I have these ones right here and I also have this small EOS looking lip balm I love these these are from Duo Chopstick Duo I think they're new I'm not sure but I love these they last so long on my lips and these are just some like alcohols in there so that's all the makeup I have and I just showed you guys I cleaned everything out right here I have all my lipsticks so I'm gonna go through every drawer of them with you guys so let's see this is the first drawer I have like saved a lot of the lipstick that I don't use like these ones they're so old already so I'm like so I'm going to take that out. And then these are like old too, so I'm throwing that away. You know what? Like pretty much every lipstick in this drawer are old. So I'm going to just pretty much throw everything in here away. In this drawer, I have both high-end and drugstore. These are from... I don't even remember. Actually, I don't know how to pronounce this um, brand, so this is their logo. You can uh, go online check. These I never use. These are like Maybelline Color Blur. Nope, don't like it. Bloxum, love it. This one, love it. LA Girl Matte Lipstick, love it. Um, this one is from Anastasia Beverly Hill, love it. This color, love it. Everybody compliment on this color when I wear this. And this Rimmel Show Off um, lipstick from a long time ago. I'm throwing that away. Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia. And this Tarte. Oh my god, look how old it is. But I don't think I'll ever use this color anymore. So I'm going to throw that away. And in the back, I have the like the smaller ones. Um, I just tried this color today. I don't like it, so I'm throwing that away. This color, as you can see, I never use it, so I'm gonna throw it away. And these ones. For some reason, I'm not a Tarte fan. I know they have better stuff now with their concealers and foundations, but. I don't like their lips, lip products. This one too, and these two. Look, look. <laughs> this is so funny. This is this is a sign that I don't like something. I don't use it. I rarely use it. So that's gone. This small like smash fog thingy, never use. So bye bye. This drawer has a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not a fan of ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. They dry, super dry on my lips, and so that's why I'm going to throw that away. Um, this is a nice color, but I never use it. So this Armani Lip Gloss thingy, don't use it, so bye-bye, Tarte, bye. Of course I'm going to save my Anastasia one, but... I'm throwing this one out because it's too light for me. This is milkshake. It doesn't work for me, so that's gone. And I love the... What's this brand called? Oh my god, my brain doesn't work. Lime Crime! There it is. I love these two. And this H&M lipstick that I never use. I bought it because I want to try it, but I never use it, so... My, this drawer is probably my most organized drawer. Um, these are the NYX, like the drugstore ones, but these ones I never use, so 
These are fun. I love all the colors in this one. I'm gonna save this drawer because I love this whole drawer. And this is my high-end lipstick uh, drawer. I'm pretty sure I love all of them, so I'm gonna keep all of those. And then on the opposite side, I have another drawer right here. This is also from H&M. They're lip gloss or whatever you call them. I don't like those. These ones are super old. The Revlon um, gloss, but they are very, very good. So in the future, I might repurchase them, but now um, they're expired. So I'm throwing that away. This used to be my favorite color, and this is super natural. These um, Dior lip gloss, oh my god, I bought it in 2012, I think. Um, they are just not my color, so they gotta go. Same thing as this Dior ones too. And I got this um, BH Cosmetic uh, lip gloss. I tried one time, don't like it, so they're gone. I want to keep the rest of these lippies. I love these ColourPop lippies. I have these two Dior lipsticks. Never use them again, so throwing that away. And same thing as this one. They're the same actually, I don't like it. This one, however, I got from H&M, and as you can see, you can't even see the brand anymore. That's how much I love it. This is, um, all I know is I got from H&M, and this is the shade Beige Perfect. It's the perfect pinky nude, so I'm leaving this one here. And this is from Maybelline, don't like it. And this one is actually from the Ipsy bag I used to subscribe, but I don't like those. This one, however, this Tarte Lip Tint, I like this particular color, so I'm saving that. These two from L'Oreal, is it? Yeah. Um, don't really like it. So this Revlon lipstick, oh my god, they're horrible, so I'm not saving those. These I got from the Holiday Collection, but I never use these, so I'm throwing those away. This Marc Jacob one is my favorite pinky nude, so I'm leaving that. And this, however, I rarely use. Oh my god, I'm tired, guys. I'm not joking from cleaning out. But, okay, this is the color. Centrifuge. I like the color, but it's not me. So, this gotta go. NARS. Love it. Saving that. This, of course, I don't use. ColourPop. I just bought these. This is a sample from Sephora. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the color 03. I love this color. Love, love, love so much. So I'm saving that. More Melted. I really don't like this collection, so I'm throwing that away. This one is super drying. I got it from a clothing store. If you have their products, let me know if you like it because I don't. This one is super drying. More color pups I don't like, so bye bye. And Anastasia. And this Buxa gloss is my favorite. It's clear, but it's like very sheer and glossy. I like it. Oh my god, this is my favorite like nude lipstick from NYX. Here are all my lip liners. I'm not gonna throw that away because I love it. These two gotta go. This lipstick actually never used because it's too dark for me. I'm not a dark lip person. This one is okay. I like the color. Saving that. This one definitely never used. This one too. Last drawer. Oh my god. Finally. Let's, let's go through this. These two Never used again. They're from Revlon. Don't like it. They're leaving. This one, however, I like it, so I'm saving that. This one, I bought it, like, probably six years ago. I know it's probably expired, so. And these I just got from the Ipsy bag. And these perfume samples, I don't use those. And this bombshell lipstick, don't like it. And this... Melted lip color, don't like it. And the rest, I'm gonna save. So that's it. Give you an overview. Oh Alright guys, so that's everything I cleaned out in my makeup collection. I really hope you enjoyed the part 2. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video. 
and I will see you guys next week. Bye!